Oh, he just like swam. Go, go, go. And it was at that moment that she realized she made a mistake. <laughs> This is the earliest I've woken up in like a long time. I don't know how I feel about it because it still feels like another freaking midnight. It's currently really dark right now, which means I'm gonna go eat breakfast. But I thought that I'd bring you guys with me for my little self growth moment. I don't really know what to expect, but I think it'll be fun. Anyways, let's get going, guys. It's really cold right now, but it's gonna take us about 20 minutes to get down there. And as you can tell, the sun is already rising, and I'm trying to do this before there's a lot of people at the beach, so it's not awkward for me to be jumping into the ocean with all my clothes on. So let's talk! We haven't talked. Talk, talk, conversation, talk, talk, talk. As of, like, this video probably going up, I'm probably gonna already have submitted my college applications. Ah. Yeah, I know. It's so weird. I'm already submitting my college applications. What? So I started in September because I wasn't actually planning on transferring for like the fall. And then I got really like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's see where we go. Let's see what schools we get into, what offers we get. And I just said, let's dive in. No pun intended for the premise of this video. I'm really nervous because I don't know if I'm gonna get in anywhere. You know, anywhere that I find the most ideal for myself. I know that I want to be in LA. I don't, I don't mean to sound basic. <laughs> and what's wrong with being basic though? Who doesn't, LA's cool. Um, but the reason why I want to go to LA is because all the internships there. See, because I want to be sociology major and sociology is a very, very broad degree that I'm, I'm afraid that after I get my bachelor's degree, I'm not going to be able to find like a lucrative job, which is the reason why I'm going to do like a lot of internships, which means I need to be in LA. And San Francisco is a scary place. It's very scary. Let's go. Is it scenic? Is that what they call it? It's not scenic. Well, no, it is scenic. I just gave away where I live. But I'm sure a lot of people have already figured that out by now. I bet a lot of people say, Sydney, you know, actually, I do have a lot of people say, Sydney, you are so lucky to live in Carmel in such a beautiful, beautiful town. And I get it, you know? Like, I live in a tourist town. Like, people come here to visit, vacation. But, like, Part of me doesn't love it. Yeah, part of me doesn't love it. It's such a bubble here. Like, everybody knows everybody. Everybody's literally related to each other in some way, shape, or form. They're all cousins or like second cousins or brothers, sisters, married, in-laws, whatever. They're all related somehow. I just have to find a part of the beach where there's like nobody there so I don't look absolutely stupid running into the ocean. I don't want people thinking that I'm some insane person and they're gonna call the police and be like, hey, there's a girl out here and it's like, what time is it? Six o'clock in the morning, just jumped into the ocean and she's wearing, she's fully clothed. They want to check in on her, see how she's doing, which I wouldn't mind because that actually sounds really nice. There's somebody to check in on me. Guys, I don't, I don't know if my social anxiety can do this right now. There's way too many people on the beach. Look at this. Like, people, I'll zoom in later, but there's like people walking. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, why am I letting my social anxiety control me, you know? It shouldn't matter to other people what the heck I'm doing with my life. Maybe I'll get hypothermia in the process, but it's all in good fun. And I've been planning on doing this for a while. This has been on my bucket list as of last week. And we're going, we're going. It's so pretty here. There's like a group of teenage girls over there. <clears throat> what kind of idiot does this? At seven o'clock in the morning, it's like 60 degrees outside. I'm an idiot. I'm stupid. Crap, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Birds do it all the time. Seals do it, but they actually live in the ocean. <laughs> I have to like hype myself up for this. <laughs> I'm so scared. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Crap. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. It looks so cool. <laughs> 
I did like semi back out towards the end and I didn't fully dunk my head in, but it was so freaking freezing and I can't feel my feet right now. This is how people get hypothermia. After I jumped in the ocean, I took my freezing butt back to the car, got dressed, which turned out to be a very difficult feat. Anyways, jumped into the car, drove back home, and I really thought this was going to be the end of the video, but it turns out that things took a little turn and people happened and life happened. And so, you know, yeah. since I jumped in the ocean by myself, but I have family in town and I, you know, was talking to them about it and it turns out that there's a few people in my family who actually want to go with me. It's becoming something that like, I did something for myself and now I do something with my family. And like, there's like some sort of self-development growth going on there. I don't know how to explain it. We have to be there by 6.30. It's currently 5 o'clock. As you may have seen, let's get ready for a part two. <laughs> yes, that lad right there is Michael Moe, my second oldest, most beloved cousin. He is 26 years old. He lives in the Texas area. Maybe it's probably Dallas. And ladies out there, you know, if you're single looking for somebody, I actually don't know much about his love life. <laughs> but if he is single, you know, hit him up. If he isn't, well, I clearly don't know whether or not he is actually single. Ribbit. Okay, let's do it. You're not doing it? No. That is my oldest, most beloved cousin, Mitchell Mo. Unfortunately, he is taken and happens to be very happy in the relationship he's in right now. <laughs> All of my friends are so damn clever. The things we talk about when we get together. Some like to dance, some like to sing. Some spend the whole day laughing the clouds away. All of my friends. I did it! Again! <laughs> Part two, second time! I know every time I'm about to jump in, like, I instantly regret my decision to come here. But then, like, afterwards, I feel like... I'm, like, so excited to take on a new freaking day! I'm really happy that I jumped into the ocean twice because, first of all, social anxiety when it comes to doing weird things in front of other people. And it's pretty strange to be jumping into the ocean at like 7 o'clock in the morning in public with all my clothes on. And I'm, I'm happy that I did it. You know, I feel like I'm doing a lot of things lately that have been challenging my mentalness. And I feel like that's really been beneficial to be doing stuff like that. I'm glad actually that my cousin joined me because I felt like that was a very good bonding experience that he had. I think I'm gonna actually start a bucket list now of things that I haven't done before that I've always told myself I'm gonna do and actually go do them. I don't know, you know, my world can't just revolve around the predictable things like going to work, doing school, and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess I'm in that phase of my life where I'm just like seeking adventure and like change. I think my point is, is that I just want to seize the day more. You know, if you're feeling stuck, do something to shake up your life a little make it feel a little bit more alive. Go jump into an ocean with all your clothes on because it may lead to something unexpected that you didn't know about before. You may discover something new about yourself. Anyways, I'm gonna go take a shower now, but I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me on my little journey, my little adventure that I did. Appreciate y'all. Um, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you.
Introverted extrovert? It could be. But what's the difference between an introverted extrovert and extroverted introvert? Oh, I'm an extroverted introvert. That's what the word. Okay, yeah.